What do your girls think of your career? Do they understand like what you do? They they know that I have an odd job. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny. Zoe was like, "Are you saying this as a YouTuber?" So <laughs> it's funny how the millennials yeah think of get mm -hmm. you know that that's like you know. And my answer was no. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> it it really was. It they know that their father has an odd job. Yeah. But you know he to me. I look at myself as, as a former academic because my wife's a doctor, mm -hmm. and we're very still academic, high priority. Uh, and it's not just bread and butter science and math. We're just trying to, you know, teach them the disciplines of school. And it's not like I said. It's not just the academics of it. It could be music. Mm -hmm. It could be art. It could be athletics, gymnastics, swimming. Really, just want them to have the most well-rounded. Opportunities available, mm -hmm. you know that to me, that to be able to have those resources to give them those options, and and to see what they respond to the most, and encourage outside the box thinking yeah. to encourage them like like Alexa does gym, you know she did gymnastics for a long time. Mm -hmm. Zoe is just picking up the saxophone. Nice. Neither of us, me, me and my wife, have ever done either. Sure. So I, I'm always encouraging them to think outside the box. If they're interested in it and if they have a passion for it, they should try it. I love that. That's really and and I and I mean it where I'm not like, you know, I don't want them to necessarily follow in my footsteps mm -hmm. at all, you know. I mean, they don't have to overact for a living. It's fine. <laughs> but they don't but I want them to really just love what they do yeah. and and stick to it if mm -hmm. they, if they love it. Have you let them watch The Hangover? Nope. Yet? Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. <laughs> Will they? Nope. nope, we're just gonna cut this out of the interview right now. I was never in it, sweetie. Never, <laughs> never in it. Never happened. Never happened. <laughs> never happened. If I say it long enough, <laughs> it'll be true. It never happened. Um, no, I, I, it's funny. Um, there are because they are they are getting of that age, mm -hmm. and and I think they know. I think they they I'm, I'm sure their friends have told them, and I think. You know, it's a lot like it's a lot like Santa Claus. Like they know, they know, yeah. we know, they know. Right. When we gonna the you know, in the room. <laughs> there's a little bit of an elephant yeah. in the room. It's like mm -hmm. a, you know, it's like the Mr. Chow as a tooth fairy kind of thing. Right. You know, we we yeah. know, we know, but <laughs> we'll just kind of. But I, no, I, I, honestly, we, we are getting to the point where, um, you know, because of my wife being a breast cancer survivor, mm -hmm. there was a. There was a backstory behind the hangover as well right, you that I hidden messages, hidden right, messages yeah. and 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 that was chronicled even in in my Netflix special that I explained, yeah. mm -hmm. um, although I'll be in a stand up way, but explained my real reasons for doing the hangover mm -hmm. and, and other things that other things that were r reasons behind doing it. And it's funny, my wife and I just talked yesterday about that because um, we did a cancer. I did a cancer benefit and where. Um, I got an award, it was called the Gilda Award, mm -hmm. in honor of Gilda Radner, and it was really to celebrate my wife being 11 years cancer free. That's great. And we had our friends in LA that had helped guide us through this, as mm -hmm. well as our oncologist, mm -hmm. trans oncologist. So um, the hangar was gonna be coming up a lot, you know, 10 years, 10th ten anniversary. Years, yeah. So it's funny, my wife and I, we did talk about like, okay, this is probably the time, you mm -hmm. know, we explain why, you know, there are some choices some bold, bold choices that were made for yeah. for reasons that people may not know. I love that. I yeah, think that's great. Hangover so. four. Hangover four. Um, I, <laughs> I mean, I love those guys. I would do anything for those guys. I do think that it, we knew that the third one would be the last one. Mm -hmm. You know, and and this is at the only project I've ever done where we went out on our own terms. Yeah. So while we we're filming it, we knew it was the last day of filming. And there's something. The older I get, and now six years out of the third one. I really love the fact that we left on top. Yeah. You know, I really mm -hmm. love that.